at a rehabilitation center in Yemen, Sana'a, children try to overcome the trauma of war. I can tell you that there are many cases. Many aspects of their lives have been affected. For example, children suffering from separation anxiety cannot stay away from their parents because they feel unsafe. They are concerned about the safety of their parents and their own safety as well. There are also children who are afraid of going to school. At Tahadi Center for Early Intervention and Special Education delivers a number of classes and activities including language skills, gaming and other educational sessions aimed at helping children reintegrate into society. But with Yemen's economy in crisis, it struggles to raise the money it needs. According to UNICEF, the majority of Yemenis do not have adequate access to physical and mental health services. Rehabilitation services are provided by charities and community-based organizations and one public rehabilitation hospital. The conflict has also prevented children's access to education. UNICEF says 2 million of an estimated 10 million school-aid children are out of school. And since the war started in 2015, more than 10,000 children have been killed or injured. The director of Etihadi Center says there are several child development organizations in the country, but describes their task as difficult. What happens to a child suffering trauma? The child suffers from severe panic, loss of hope anxiety, and even regresses to behaviors from when they were younger. Immediately after the trauma, in the post-traumatic stage, the child develops separation anxiety from their parents. Our program helps children to move on from their trauma caused by the war and sounds of explosions through a comprehensive psychological and social program with the aim of rehabilitating them. Of course, all these experts know that the root cause of the problem need to be addressed first. And the warring sides must draw lines in the sand before they destroy their country's future. Sena Sailan, TRT World.